Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a premium companion who anticipates your every need even before you do? Imagine a world where artificial intelligence, AI, not only delights us day to day, but also assists in resolving the most complex problems that have been challenging humankind. Sounds like a dream, right? What if I told you this dream is far closer than we think? OpenAI CEO Sam Altman says super intelligent AI distracts from more pressing questions of this era. However, are we ready for such a tipping point? Today, we walk through these exciting talking points and more as we dig into Altman's pioneering thoughts on AI super intelligence and his grand vision for the new Ultra AI device. Chapter 1 The Dawn of the Intelligence Age OpenAI CEO Sam Altman shared his views on a period he referred to as the intelligence age, super-intelligent AI. He is excited because he thinks we are on the verge of inventing something unique. The kicker, Altman believes all this could occur in as little as a couple of thousand days. Yes, you hear that correctly. The crossover, medium to almost 14 years. But who's counting? The excitement is palpable. Altman argues in his blog post that this new period could be one of the most transformative eras in human history. Imagine a world where artificial intelligence is as intelligent as the human brain, can solve complex problems, and even upgrade itself. Artificial intelligence today can be effective in executing duties, such as playing chess or recognizing abnormalities within X-rays. Chapter 2. What exactly is superintelligent AI? So, what is superintelligent AI? It is a kind of AI that can perform any intellectual activity that a human being can do. Just imagine two steps ahead, an intelligent assistant that remembers your schedule and anticipates your needs before you do. Altman says the potential pros are scale fuels, enabling everything from addressing climate change to colonizing outer space. What does this mean for you and society? While the idea of our AI teams in our pockets sounds excellent, it raises questions about this working, job displacement, and ethics associated with artificial intelligence. Think about what it is like to come into your house after a long day at work. However, when these intelligent systems begin to replace tens of millions of jobs, what then? There needs to be some balance between innovation and social responsibility. Chapter 3. The Infrastructure Challenge Altman highlights the issue of infrastructure in supporting such advanced technology. He underlines that if we aim to universalize the use of artificial intelligence by making it part of everyone's lives, not just the lives of magnificent monetarily saturated individuals, a lot of money needs to be spent on the hardware side of the equation, which includes computing power and energy. Imagine a future in which only people with deep pockets can purchase sophisticated artificial intelligence systems. To avoid this cruel society, Altman calls for collective action and investment in technology that benefits humanity. Here is an important question. How can the development of such exceptional technologies guarantee equal access? It can only be a collaborative effort of governments, the private sector, and academic institutions to establish an environment where everyone will stand to gain from these new AI technologies. Chapter 4. The New Ultra AI Device now let's move to something interesting, a new Ultra AI device designed by Joni Ive and Altman. Following this partnership has brought hopes and expectations within the tech sector. But what precisely will this device achieve? While the specifics are still vague, they allow us to change how we interact with technology daily. It would be nice to have an AI device that helps with the usual chores, becomes wiser as you go along, and learns all about your habits over time. Some may find it as though they have a mini genius, but it sounds cool, right? However, there are some inherent questions about privacy and security issues. Important information should be processed and transferred carefully, as the hero with great powers had to find out. Chapter 5. Balancing Risks and Rewards Nonetheless, as a great visionary, Altman is an entrepreneur who uses cheerful tones, though he isn't blind to the dangers of creating super-intelligent AI. The integration of advanced AI systems in healthcare also includes many risks that have been voiced over, such as ethical issues and negative aspects. For example, how can the tasks ahead be accomplished to ensure the technology does not serve the wrong end? This question is essential as we do not know much about the landscape of this area. Some people have argued that although Altman's dream is rosy, perhaps he painted it as such when he was back home. Chapter 6. The Collective Intelligence Altman hopes humans have advanced through personal genius and social genius, 
which is people's capacity to cooperate within the population pool and share knowledge. He says that AI should be able to augment this collective intelligence and help us solve problems that are otherwise unmanageable now. Imagine if every child learned in the way that suits them most. An intelligent system could incorporate this style so that the lesson would reach every learner possible and enhance the skills of the slowest learner. That is why we must continue to control the application of technologies despite the desire for computers to take over. Chapter 7. A Bright Future or Just Hype As we walk through these ideas, one must be realistic. Indeed, on the bright side, here are Altman's predictions. However, these predictions are with conditions. The way forward will be challenging as we seek to attain the benefits of superintelligent artificial intelligence in as near to entirely positive a manner as possible. We must ask ourselves, are we ready for such profound changes? Can society provide timely, inclusive solutions for these technologies to embrace and leave no one behind immediately? But wait! There are also those practical questions of ethics, or how do we engineer fair and responsible entities? Looking at Sam Altman's vision of the future, one can only proceed with cautious optimism as we enter the intelligence age. Chapter 8. Real-World Applications Okay, let me take you through some real-life applications of artificial intelligence that are in use today. The prospect appears virtually inexhaustive from the healthcare sector to the development of solutions such as prognosis, analytics for patient caregiving, to transport authority through self-driving vehicles. In healthcare, machine learning algorithms can outcompete human radiologists in diagnosing diseases by interpreting medical images. Just think how amazing it is to be able to diagnose diseases in their precursors when treatment is most effective. Even within agriculture production, farmers use AI technologies for precision farming, using resources efficiently while being eco-friendly. Chapter 9. The Singularity Concept Let's briefly consider a concept often mentioned in the same breath as superintelligence, technological singularity. It means a stage at which technology achieves a certain level to the extent that events happen with such ease that they virtually cannot be slowed down or reversed, resulting in a revolution within society. Still, most futurists think that once a post-cognitive or superintelligent AI appears, it may enhance itself at a rate inconceivable to man. As much as some may see singularity as a move to a new and progressive realm, others raise eyebrows at the prospects of the broader society. It emphasizes the importance of considering structures that govern the governance of advanced technologies. So, here's my question. How do you feel about the future of superintelligent AI? Do you consider it a hope or a threat? Let me know in the comments below if you want to learn more about this topic. And remember, no matter whether you belong to the team optimism or you are the team caution, let's further this discussion. Thanks for watching us today. If you got any value out of this discussion, please give a thumbs up to the video. If you want more information about technology and artificial intelligence, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, stay curious and question everything until we are together again.